Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer, also known as Chroma Nails, and today I have just one question for you. Who loves the ocean? I'm lucky enough to live near the beach year round, so today I have a look for you that's inspired by the waves and my favorite summer staple, the flip flop. Let's get painting. Here, I've prepped my nails with a base coat. I used SE Ridge Filling Base for a super smooth finish. But enough of that, let's get to the fun stuff. Start out by painting on two coats of a nude beige polish. I'm using SE Saint Tropez today and let dry a few minutes. We are now going to start to paint our ocean detail. Take your blue polish of choice, I'm using SE Bikini Sotini, and outline the waves using the brush on the bottle. You can then use what remains on the brush to lightly fill in the area by the cuticle. Once you've completed this step on all your nails, you can go back in with your blue polish and a detail brush and fill in any sparse areas. This is definitely helpful down by the cuticle and along the sides where it's harder to reach with a larger brush. Next, take a paler blue polish, I'm using Essie's Find Me an Oasis, and a makeup sponge, any shape will work, but I'm using a triangle wedge, and we are going to lightly stipple the polish in between the sand and the water to create a frothy effect. I'm pinching the sponge between my fingers to give me more control over the color placement. If you get any polish on your skin, no worries, just clean it up with a brush dipped in polish remover. Now take a detail brush and the same pale blue shade and add in some wave-like lines to the ocean. Here's what you should have so far. Now for a little more fun, we are going to add in a couple of flip-flop accent nails. You can add flip-flops to as many or as few of the nails as you like. I'm doing one per hand here, but feel free to go flip-flop crazy. Next, take a white polish and a small detail brush and outline the flip-flop shape. This doesn't have to be perfect at this point. I like to start by adding the curve at the center and moving outwards using small strokes you will end up with almost a peanut or a jelly bean shape. Now use the same white polish to fill in the flip flops. Once they are filled in, you can take your detail brush and lightly correct any mistakes and sharpen your outline. I'm going to add some stripes to my flip flops. You can use any color you like here. I'm using Essie's Butler Please. If you are having trouble making straight lines, try to hold the brush steady and move your finger instead of the brush. Now to add the straps to my flip flops. I'm taking Essie's Flowerista to draw in the straps, starting at the top and moving out toward the sides. Give your design a few minutes to dry and set with a generous layer of top coat. Try to keep the brush parallel to your nail to avoid streaking the design. And here is the final look. This design will have you ready for the beach or an ocean vacation in no time. I love when you guys recreate my design, so be sure to tag me when you do. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. 